Hey what's up guys and welcome in this new tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to create ear candy effects for your tech house track. So before starting with this tutorial I would like to remind you that all of the samples and the presets used in this tutorial are from our sample pack Mirage Volume 4 which is a collection of one shots, loops, construction kits, serum presets and much more that you can check out from the link in the description below. So let's start by having a listen to the loop that we're gonna use for this video. So really basic just the kick the bass line and a couple of drum loops so there are a few ways that you can add the ear candy effects to your tracks the first one is by using a synth like serum for example so we're gonna load our mirage volume 4 pack we can also use a bass line uh, because we will edit later on and let's start with the midi so let's see we are in G minor here and let's select the same scale and let's see what we can come up with maybe let's try for a different sound So we have this kind of stub at the beginning. Let's add a bit of sidechain. bit of EQ as well, moving the very lows. Maybe we can divide this in two parts, one for the stabs and the other for these final notes. Maybe let's try, uh, yeah, we can also try a chord. Okay, perfect so this is how to add your candy with the synth as we've seen you can experiment a bit uh, with some bass presets and some synth presets and basically you want to operate like here on the final part of the loop or at the very beginning like in the case of this stub moving on we have uh, percussions so we're gonna load the drum rack and we're gonna load some of the percussions inside of mirage okay like this we're gonna open up midi channel here as well Uh, something like this we can also add the snare so let's go in the snares we're gonna do the same thing as we did before so let's load the drum rack and then let's have all the snares here and maybe for the snare we're gonna work on this other part so let's see something like this <laughs> So 
something like this, we can also do uh, velocity automation. something like this and then the final channel that we have here is for the vocal so we can take a vocal loop and maybe extract a section or uh, create another loop with that vocal so let's see what we have here i need you i don't understand dirty or i dirty. do what give me some oblivion fire jumps can also add the midi track and do something like this so let's loop this section and maybe here let's see drums 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 so we can create some cool automation with the length okay we can remove this track we have to reduce the volume a bit And here maybe let's remove the automation and let's keep the vocal normal Yes, yeah, so something like this. Let's add a bit of sidechain. So yeah, these are the air candy effects that we've added. So let's do a before and after to see the difference. So we're gonna mute these channels. So as you can hear we have a much more dynamic track and in general it's uh, much more interesting as well. So yeah don't forget to check out Mirage Volume 4 from the link in the description below. Let us know in the comments what tutorial would you like to see next and I'll see you soon. Bye!